Welcome rescuers to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Dave Darample. What we're going to be talking about today is a technique called cross ramming. Now maybe some of you are not familiar with cross ramming. You're familiar with our friend the power hydraulic ram. We've always used the ram to, put, to displace a dash, push it forward, push it up out of our way. So you're used to using a ram in that way. However, maybe you're not used to and think about it. Think about the size of cars today. A lot of times vehicles today, because of their inherent th design, vehicles want to absorb energy. They kind of crush and get damaged and they compress towards the passenger cell. Well, what happens when that crush, either from a side impact, Im impacts into the passenger cell, or because of the severity of damage, it actually intrudes into the passenger cell from the front or the rear? Many times our patients will be trapped in different ways than what we're used to, where we might actually need to reproportion, push the car back out, so to speak. And one of the best tools to use that is our friend, the power hydraulic ram. Now we're gonna show you a couple different ways to explore this today by not only pushing the vehicle out horizontally, but also vertically and from a couple different positions. And we'll show you how this can help you access and disentangle the patient better and safer. Okay, rescuers, one of the things to remember, anytime we're working around roof posts or the roof itself, we always need to prep the interior of the vehicle. Now, part of that prepping job is gonna be cutting seat belts and displacing interior trim to look for airbag cylinders. Now you'll notice rescuers also, to protect the patient, we have inserted a piece of hard protection in that area between the patient and where the rescuer is doing work. Um, you see he's displaced the interior trim away. There's no airbag cylinders there. He's also looking, because of it being at the B post itself, he's gonna be looking for the adjustable seatbelt bracket. Now rescuers, as part of the, the cross ramming evolution, we need to actually place the ram in place. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out the distance we want to travel, what rams we have, and we need to make sure that we block each end of the ram. Because think about the point of contact the ram actually makes. The ram makes a very small point of contact, so we're going to need to widen that out either with cribbing or with a ram jam or, or some other device like that. Now, rescue, as you can see, the crew has come in, the ram is in place, they've extended it out. Now they're gonna begin the cross ramming evolution itself. Now think about what, as the ram extends and starts to move the vehicle, we need to watch the ram itself, we need to watch our patient, so none of, none of the vehicle parts itself comes back onto the patient. As we take our time, we might need to reposition the ram either higher or lower on that roof post. A good ram to do this with is a telescoping ram where you can fit it into a tight space and will extend farther out than a normal set piece ram. So if you have a telescoping ram in your arsenal, that's a good tool of choice here. Okay, rescuers, one of the things as you'll notice, we've had to readjust the ram. Now, sometimes when we need to readjust the ram, we also need to build up space, especially if we have a short ram and we need to go a longer distance. Now, the nice thing you'll notice, we've used our platforms from our quick chocks in there behind the ram jam and a wedge. So not only are they good for stabilizing the vehicle on its wheels, you also can utilize them for taking up space to insert our ram. Now, as, as they extend the ram this time and push the vehicle out, we have our, our hard protection in place to protect our patient and our interior rescuer. 
We have to also watch, we're gonna reach a certain point where the B post is gonna be out and it's gonna start to move the roof down, which then will stop and then reposition the ram and actually push the roof up vertically. Now rescuers, as we've pushed the B post out, you've noticed the, the, the roof itself has started to come down. That's, that's a normal situation that's gonna happen as we push the side of the vehicle away. We're gonna need to reposition the ram to push the roof up vertically. Now cross ramming, whether it's vertically or horizontally, we need to make sure we, we are talking to our interior rescuer to coordinate the efforts between the ram and patient management as we work. Rescuers, now that we've finished pushing the side of the vehicle away, cross ramming horizontally, now we're gonna cross ram the vehicle vertically by pushing the roof up with the ram. Okay, rescuers, now that we've repositioned the ram to cross ram vertically, you notice we've placed hard protection both between the patient and also the lower part of the seat. We've put some cribbing in place to ensure that the ram doesn't slide forward. Now, you also notice, regardless of whether we're cross ramming vertically or horizontally, we always wanna support the ram. So here we've supported the ram at the base to spread the base along the floor. So we can actually employ the ram to push the roof up with more force and evenly then push the floor down as well. Now rescuers, besides using the, the cross ramming technique to reproportion the vehicle because of damage, what happens if this vehicle, say this vehicle, for example, was a brand new Volvo, say like an XC60, where all the roof posts are all filled with boron steel reinforcements, and your hydraulic cutter couldn't cut this roof post? Well, we can also use the ram and the cross ramming technique of cross ramming vertically by stretching the roof upwards to remove the patient out of the back of the vehicle kind of a vertical pick, however, coming through the rear window opening because we're gonna stretch it vertically. Now, as you can see, the crew setting up the ram to do this. They're gonna set a base across the base of the ram to, to spread the load out. They're also gonna tent the roof up vertically. Again, cross ramming is nothing more than we're gonna recreate, we're gonna kind of push the vehicle apart in different directions to make better space to disentangle and remove the patients in the vehicle. But always remember, you need to put a hard protection, a barrier between your tool work, your patient, and the interior rescuer. You might need to pull interior trim if we're pushing against different parts of the roof because of side curtain airbags and such. But also remember, support the ram because the ram might punch through the vehicle as well. So we got to make sure the ram is supported. My name is Dave Darample. I'd like to thank you for watching Training Minutes. Thank you Homatro for sponsoring them. Be safe out there.